Good day everyone, Garage King here, and if you don't want this to happen to your Vanagon engine, maybe leaving you stranded, overheating, whatever, I found four gauges that I think you should have. I'm going to show you how to install them, and this way you can keep cruising in style. Okay, so take a look at this. Now what I had to do is I actually had to shoot at 60 frames per second because at 30 frames per second they were just flashing. So at 60 frames we got it. So what do we need? We need a water temperature, we need an oil temperature, we need an oil pressure, and we need a volts. I'll give the engine a quick rev and you can see the oil pressure move. There you go. Now to hook up the battery voltage, it's quite easy. You just tie into the system, but for the other three, we're gonna have to go underneath. So I took the cover off the engine just to show you where I installed everything. I'm gonna go underneath to show you the oil temp and oil pressure, but on top is where uh, I did my uh, coolant temperature sensor and it's actually right in here under there. So we're gonna go under there and take a look. There's, so there's the thermostat housing. It's got its own uh, sensors on it. Now, if we go up a little bit more this way, you can see there's a slave cylinder. Let's take a peek and see what we see up here. And there you can see there's the hose. So I had cut this hose in half and then installed this, I guess, joining piece, if you want. And then the sensor is right there. I'll throw up an arrow. So I wanted to use the bypass hose. And the reason I wanted to use the bypass hose was because if you use any other hose, you may not get an accurate reading, but this one's always flowing when the engine's running. So I'm just gonna cut in here and just explain very briefly what I mean by this. So this hose essentially runs between the two cylinder heads, and as I mentioned earlier, it's always flowing. So what that means is it'll be accurate and it's always going to read the temperature of the coolant that's in the engine. Now, if you put it somewhere else, say for example, if you put it in front of the thermostat, what'll happen is it's always gonna read cold until the thermostat opens. But here in the bypass, it'll give us an accurate representation of what's going on inside the engine. So it's really, really good to uh, put it in this location. Plus it was pretty easy and I thought it actually worked the best. Now, just a quick fun fact, if anyone actually wants to put another gauge in, what they could do is they could put it on the front line running to the radiator, and then you can actually monitor your uh, thermostat opening and closing as you're driving. So you could diagnose uh, a stuck thermostat without even doing anything, just driving around. Your gauges would tell you if your thermostat is bad. But anyway, that's beyond the point of this. All right, so let's take a look at how I hooked up the oil pressure and oil temperature sensors. So if we pan under here, under the exhaust, you will find an oil filter on your Vanagon. You know where they are now. Mine has a sensor right there. You're thinking, oh my gosh, what is that? There is the cooler. So I'll throw up an arrow, there's the cooler. So here's a better image of it. So there's the cooler. Now it's important to note that mine's an 86. So if you have an older Vanagon, you probably will not have a cooler. So just keep that in mind when you're looking underneath. Now we'll take another quick shot, we'll pan back. So there you can see the sandwich adapter attached to the oil cooler and the filters attached to that. And you can see the two sensors right there. So one of them is the temperature of the oil and the other one is the pressure. And this way, if we pan up in there, right up in, in there, right in there guys, that's the factory sensors are in there, at least on, uh, on the 2.1s, you got one in there and then there's one on the front of the engine or the rear of the engine as they call it, front and rear, I always mix them up. But anyway, I didn't want to tamper, so I still have my factory gauges all working. Everything is, everything's working as it should. And then this way, what I do is I just have the sandwich adapter, and it actually fits. I have the GoSD exhaust, and you can see there's a, there's a gap there, and it's it's been working out great. So that's how I ran my gauges. And then this wire, uh, what I did, is I just put some uh, really good, I went to some performance shop and got some um, high temperature insulator, because I found these wires here, they're actually melting. They were too close to the exhaust, and what happened is they were melting. So you can see here how I just followed them up right there. Uh, I put in some hooks if you want, if you want to call it that. And then I ran them up just side, uh, up along the frame. So that's how I ran them. Let's take a look up top. Now it is important, as I mentioned before, just to put this heat uh, or some type of heat um, protectant on these wires because it does get really hot back here with the exhaust. So that's what I've done. That's what that silver stuff is. And then there I've just put some wire loom just to protect it. And then you can see there's the hole there, one of the grommets. And then I just run it into the frame. So that's all that I did. So I got the two coming uh, right from the oil filter and then the one I showed you below uh, for the coolant temperature. So that's what I did. So really quick video just to show you the four gauges that I think are really important and how I hooked them up. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Grosh King over and out.